Lithium-ion batteries last in extreme cold. Even if the temperature drops below freezing, you may still use or drain your battery. There is a noticeable decrease in the life expectancy of your lithium battery throughout the winter months. When the temperature drops below freezing, the capacity is reduced for a short time. When you come in from the cold, your hands may ache as they begin to thaw. Lithium batteries have the same problem. But why is it so? Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Voltage. We are here to acknowledge you with all the latest high voltage car updates and their features from top to bottom, and also give you a brief analogy of them. So hurry up and subscribe to the channel and smash the notification bell button to not miss any of our updates. With that being stated, let's jump into the business. Lithium cells are unable to receive the same amount of charging, current, warmth if the battery's internal temperature dips below 32 degrees. When the battery temperature falls below freezing, avoid charging your lithium batteries. Do you have solar panels on your roof? Solar panels will keep your battery active even if it is kept at an unheated area, ensuring that the battery's internal temperature will not go below freezing. Since lithium-ion batteries can store a large amount of energy and have lengthy lifespans, they are ideal for powering rechargeable gadgets. The electrical performance of these energy sources degrades as temperature drops below zero degrees Fahrenheit, and at that point, they may be unable to transmit any charge at all. Because of this, some individuals in the Midwest of the United States experience problems with their electric automobiles during the dead of winter. And because of this, it is dangerous to utilize these batteries in outer space travel. According to new research, lithium-ion batteries' decreased energy storage capability in the cold may be attributed to the anode's flat graphite orientation. Because of this, Shi Wang, Jianyan Yao, and their colleagues sought to alter the surface structure of a carbon-based material in order to increase the anode's charge transfer. See the ID Tech X study on lithium-ion batteries, 2020 to 2030 for more details. Scientists created the novel material by heating cobalt-rich zeolite imidazolate framework ZIF67 at high temperatures. The rough surfaces of the 12-sided carbon nanospheres displayed efficient electrical charge transfer. The anode was tested using lithium metal as the cathode in a coin-shaped battery, and the results were positive. Temperatures ranging from 77 to negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit exhibited reliable charging and discharging of the anode, which held 85.9% of the room temperature energy capacity below freezing. Other carbon-based anodes, such as graphite and carbon nanotubes, have essentially little charge at freezing temperatures in lithium-ion batteries. Researchers tested the rough nanosphere anode at a low temperature of negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit and found that it was still rechargeable and discharged with about 100% of the charge that had been placed into it. Researchers believe that adding the rough nanosphere material to lithium-ion batteries might allow these energy sources to be used at sub-zero temperatures. In cold weather, telephones need to be recharged regularly, and electric automobiles have lower ranges. Because their lithium-ion batteries' as anodes become sluggish, storing less charge and draining energy more rapidly. This is the reason why their battery life is so short. Scientists in the journal ACS Central Science have developed a lumpy carbon anode for lithium-ion batteries that retains its rechargeable storage capacity down to minus 31 degrees Fahrenheit, making it ideal for use in cold climates. Since lithium-ion batteries can store a large amount of energy and have lengthy lifespans, they are ideal for powering rechargeable gadgets. The electrical performance of these energy sources degrades as temperatures drop below zero degrees Fahrenheit, and at that point, they may be unable to transmit any charge at all. Using these batteries in space expeditions is a concern because of the extreme temperatures in the US Midwest during the winter. Lithium-ion batteries' energy storage capacity decreases significantly in the cold because of a graphite anode with a flat orientation. Scientists created the novel material by heating cobalt-rich zeolite framework ZIF67, at high temperatures. The rough surfaces of the 12-sided carbon nanospheres displayed efficient electrical charge transfer. Next, the scientists put the material through its paces as an anode in a coin-shaped battery, while using lithium metal as a cathode. While charging and discharging, the anode retained 85.9% of its room temperature energy storage capacity at temperatures as low as negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Other carbon-based anodes, such as graphite and carbon nanotubes, have essentially little charge at freezing temperatures in lithium-ion batteries. The anode, built with rough nanospheres, was still rechargeable and discharged about 100% of the charge placed into the battery while the air temperature was negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit. These batteries might be used at very low temperatures by using the rough nanosphere material, according to the researchers. 
the National Natural Science Foundation of China, the Ministry of Science and Technology of China, the Science and Technology Project of Guangdong Province, the Chemistry and Chemical Engineering Guangdong Laboratory, and Beijing Jiaotong University all provided funding for the study which the authors gratefully acknowledge. This non-profit organization, known as the American Chemical Society, ACS, was established by an act of Congress in the United States. We at ACS believe that advancing the field of chemistry and those who practice it will benefit not just ourselves, but everyone who lives on our planet. While the American Chemical Society, ACS, publishes some of the most well-regarded scientific publications in the world, it does not perform chemical research itself. With its CAS business, it collaborates with worldwide innovators to speed up discoveries by aggregating, linking, and analyzing the world's scientific information. Washington, D.C. and Columbus, Ohio are home to the primary offices of ACS. When it comes to lithium-ion batteries, they have a bad reputation for poor cold weather performance, and that has an impact on some of their most critical applications, such as starting an electric vehicle in Wisconsin during the winter or flying a drone on the surface of another planet. SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory researchers have discovered a previously unrecognized problem. Storage at temperatures below freezing may cause lithium-ion batteries to split and separate from one another, limiting their ability to store electricity. It was disclosed by SLAC scientists Yi Jin Liu and Ji Zhu Li while investigating the battery's cathode, which is where electrons flow while the battery is in operation. Battery capacity loss was found to be up to 5% more when cathodes were kept at temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius than when cathodes were stored at higher temperatures. It was this combination of X-ray analysis tools at the Stanford Synchrotron Radiation Light Source, SLAC, and machine learning approaches that Lithium has been working on for many years that help researchers understand why. Individual cathode particles may now be identified thanks to the combination, allowing the researchers to investigate thousands instead of just a few. It was discovered by these means that the meatball-like particles in the cathode were shrinking and breaking, or making existing breaks much worse, Liu added. The intense cold was also separating the cathodes from the surrounding materials because of the different ways materials expand and contract in response to temperature changes. Liu says the findings hint to a few potential solutions. Scientists might solve the problem of battery separation by searching for battery materials that are better suited in terms of their temperature responsiveness, because all batteries expand and contract as they heat up and cool down. This might help enhance other batteries as well. Researchers may be able to boost the long-term capacity of lithium-ion batteries by creating alternative particle architectures within the battery, such as building them up from smoother, less meatball-like particles. Lithium-ion batteries' energy storage capacity decreases significantly in the cold because of a graphite anode with a flat orientation. A carbon-based anode anode's charge transfer mechanism was improved by Xi Wang, Tianyan Yao, and his colleagues by modifying its surface structure. Working of a battery Other carbon-based anodes, such as graphite and carbon nanotubes, have essentially little charge at freezing temperatures in lithium-ion batteries. The anode built with rough nanospheres was still rechargeable and discharged around 100% of the charge placed into the battery while the air temperature was minus 31 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 35 degrees Celsius. Batteries need to evolve. You will be amazed to know all the new diamond battery by Toyota, which can last up to several years. Make sure to watch that video on voltage. Having said that, we have reached the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If yes, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And it's high time for you to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on to get all the updates on our works. See you soon. Until then, peace.